Hi guys, welcome to the channel on Office Blow Daz. I'm Gaynor. Office Blow Gaynor. Okay, here we are in Nashville, USA. We are. I know. Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. So uh, while we were here, I spotted something in the beer store and I thought, what better way than to introduce you two guys to something I really love, which is Shiner Bock. Brewed in Shiner, Texas. Never heard of it, never seen it. Okay, when I was, um, when I first visited Houston, Texas, I remember going in a bar with a friend of mine called Walter, German guy. Okay. And I went to the bar and I said, what can I get you to drink? And I was like, um... And as I'm thinking, he was Mr. Impatient. He just went, typical German, impatient. And he went, uh, I'll shine a bock. And I went, what's that? And he went, it's a Texas brew. Mm. You'll love it, try it. So I went, go for it then. I'll have a shine a bock as well. So I had it on, I think I had it on tap. Yeah. I don't think it was a bottle. I'm pretty sure it was on tap. Right. Anyway, I, had a, I was like, you know what? That's really good, good call. Yeah. So I think, and ever since then, whenever I was in Texas, when I went out or anything, I was a China bock. Okay. Do you not have a guess of the population of China? 7,800. No. Small town, more. small brewery. 75,000? 2,069. Wow. Very, very small, small town. That is a small very town. Very small brewery. And that's the only brewery they have. That's really? where it's that's the only place it's brewed. That's crazy. Where? China, Texas, yeah? That's why. So if you want it in China, Texas, that's where it's brewed. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that squeaking in the back, but it's the oh, wind. the wind. Yeah. <laughs> if you can hear muffling in. as well, we couldn't actually get the volume of the TV off in the bloody yeah, room. Yeah, can't mind it. We try like that, so sorry about that. So the TV's yeah. off and everything, it's, uh, it's running into something else. But uh, let's give it a go anyway, Shannon. Yeah. I brought a glass, so what I want you to do is that you don't put one on each. And uh, it's very oh, cold. Oh, I only get two drunk. It's really cold. And uh, yeah, obviously it's cold. And what I want you to do is I want you to pour some. I don't want to fail. Just to pour a pint though. I know just to get. Just to get. No, what I want you to do is when you pour it, I just want you to get the idea of the colour okay. of the. Okay. Uh, what is it different? The beer. Well, I just want you to see it because it looked because we're looking for a brown bottle. Dark. No, not really. So I just want to. So I want you to see the colour of it so you just get understanding. It is dark. Yeah. Like, rather than looking through a brown bottle. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I'm gonna like this. Well, let's see, shall we? So, uh, do you want it out of the glass or out of the bottle? I'm gonna have mine out of the bottle. Well, I've poured this. Do you like that? You, you like? Do you like it out of the glass more or the bottle? It doesn't matter to me. There you go then. Right. So, go on, give it a try, Aid. Tell me what you think. Smell it first. Do you know what it smells like? Beer. Homebrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've not had this for about. Last time I had a glass. Last time I had a bottle of China Bock or a glass of China Bock. You're probably talking about. Uh, 2000, 2007. I don't, but I don't think that's for me because it's quite, quite heavy. Dark. That's that's for me. Yeah. I'm a cider drinker. Yeah. That's just yeah. full of flavour, isn't it? Yeah. I think, I think you have to be a beer drinker to, to like Which it. Which we are, aren't we, Dad? Yes. We've had quite a bit of beer today, to be fair. I'm a cider drinker. What's the volume? Oh, what's the volume? Five percent, right? Five percent is it? I don't know. I can't see. I can't see either. We're here in Nashville and I'm trying the what's it called again? Tennessee Old Fashioned. Tennessee Old Fashioned for the first time. Apparently I needed to try it if I'm here in Nashville, so. What's that David? Let's get a look at that bottle. Well Tennessee whiskey. There you go. First time you tried Tennessee whiskey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's spirit it's spirit forward for that's sure. An, I'm not a big like, that's that's quite nice that. I could drink that hundred percent, yeah. Like that. The housemate did yeah. rare, a little bitters, a little orange bitters. There you have it. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, that's it. That reminds me of like uh, when I was younger. When you I was used a big, to sneak your dad's alcohol. Oh, I used to be a big whiskey drinker. Oh, I grew up on Jack Daniels, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have a cousin from Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, she told me, she's like, I will never drink with you again. I almost died. <laughs> that's, that's how we do it. Well, that's the same happened to me. There you go, then, Aid, what do you reckon? I reckon that's really nice. I'd order that again. Old fashioned. Yeah. Tennessee old fashioned. Oh, yeah. Cheers. You got that, 10? Nine. Nine? Yeah. Oh, big praise, big praise, brother. You what get... year do you make, think it was made? China. What do you think it was started, you mean? What, what year do you think it was first, first done? the same brewery where it was first made back in what year? 1870. 19. 1870. 1905. You're closer. 1910. I'm just probably sure. 1910. <laughs> closer? Yeah. 1913. Yeah. Nin 1913? Yeah. Yeah, before the second, before the first world war. Yeah, so it doesn't say what the. Uh... I mean, guess would be around about 5%. Yeah. Is what we guess at. But what do you think then? Whoa, hang on. 
Oh, is that the brewery spot? Spokesell Brewery established yeah. in 1909. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, like I say, it's only brewed in China, Texas. You can't I try to get this beer for... Yeah, you, you, let me see what you're saying. I've tried to buy it for ages and I get through to like a page and it just it just doesn't let you buy it. Um, to ship it to the UK I guess and I've yeah. never seen it in the UK. No. I've even asked the pubs. Four point four. Four point four percent, okay. That's a that's a good uh, that's a good percentage, yeah. you can drink that. Without getting sort of like absolutely trolley. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but what you've got is um with China, you don't get it. I've asked all my friends in the UK who've got bars and I've said, Do you think you can find this beer for me? It's called China Bock. They've asked all their distributors and they've all come back and gone, I can't get it. And one, there was one guy, probably because it's made in one little well, town, yeah. that's the population of 2000. There was one guy who does like all these different IPAs from around the world. And they do a lot of American IPAs that he buys from America. And I said to him, that I forget, he went, he went if, I order you, if I order you some, you have to buy the pallet. The pallet? How <laughs> much went, comes in the pallet? And I went, if I buy that myself, I can buy that myself and ship it in. Mm. But I'll buy a pallet. So I'm not going to use a pallet of Shiner Bock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, probably don't know what people wouldn't. Would would yeah, I, I think you fair. probably would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'd have to get one to buy off. Well, do, you, do you remember when I first went into the um, into the beer store and I got a uh, Stella? And he's like, I never heard of it. And he got his book out and he looked through it. And he went, Stella? And he went, well, that's from a distributor I've never even heard of. He said, how much do you want? I said, get me like 10 cases. He went, 10 cases? He went, okay. And then when he brought it in, he phoned me up and he said, I've got your 10 cases here. And he said, can I just keep one to see if it sells? I said, yeah, fine, sort of thing. So he sold me like packs of six, I guess. Anyway, when I went back in, he went, I'll tell you, it's nice. He went, that Stella went straight away. I went, yeah, it will do. So it's, it's good beer. And no one no one had Stella anywhere yeah. in the Where's USA. Where's this? This was in the USA when we first moved Brick, over. Britain, New Jersey. I thought yeah. Stella was one of the most. Wasn't in the, you couldn't get it in the USA. No. It was, it was popular beers I'm anywhere. Talking, I'm talking like 1996, this was. Yeah. Uh, 1996, 97, you couldn't get it anywhere. So my, my claim to fame, what I would say, is I introduced Stella to the USA. But it proper looks like a whiskey, doesn't it? A whiskey? Like, it does yeah, it's like, like, like the same colour as whiskey. It's like a bitter, yeah. like a bitter sort of like like looking, bitter yeah. To me. Like a brown ale. Like a Newcastle brown ale. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't expecting it to be that colour no, at I all. But it doesn't, more it doesn't, it looked like, it's dark, but it kind of, it's, Tastes quite light. Yeah, you, you know what? Good, good uh, spot. Like that is uh, exactly what it is. It's like a light beer, but it's dark. With a dark colour. Yeah, it definitely really doesn't nice. taste like an ale or anything, does it? No, but it's, uh, it's a great. I like it. It's a great beer, mate. And that's that uh, Shiner Bock from Shiner yeah. Texas. Yes. Aiden and Gainer first time trying it. Yeah, hell yeah. See, so would you have it again? Oh, 100 percent. What do you think out of uh, Mark's out of ten? Uh, favorite beer Moretti, ten out of ten. Second favorite Asahi, nine out of ten. 8 out of 10 Superbox. Uh, yeah. Shiner Box. 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 If, if I went out and they had China on tap or anything like that, I'd probably drink that. So I'd probably give that. A over good. Stella? Um, no. Probably not over Stella. Depends what I was doing. Depends where I was going. If I was in, if I was going like on a proper like drinking session, that's my, that's my Stella. Yeah. If I'm going to the football, that's my Stella. Yeah. If I need to argue with someone, I drink like, plenty of Stella beforehand. And then other makes you uh, makes you aggressive. But if I was going out <laughs> having a couple of beers and then going on wine, if I was going out for dinner again, I was thinking just have a couple of beers before I start, and then I'll go on. Well, what I do is when I browse the menu. I have a couple of beers and my wine is there waiting for me. As soon as I finish my menu, breathing. As soon as, as soon as I've ordered, the menu goes and I'm on my wine and the beer goes. That's where I'd have shine. Right. So where, where did you find this? I found it in that. Uh, oh, do you know where I got it from? Bookies. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Remember, course. When I, remember when I wandered off when you were looking at what's that? Well, I wandered off and I come back with a. You just saw a beer. I was like, I'm going there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw beer, wine, and something else. I just thought that's me. I just thought I wandered down there. And I thought, I wonder what they got. I, well, I got. was wondering about all the beef jerky yeah. sections. Yeah, that's I actually, actually were... walked down there and I thought, I wonder if they've got China Bock. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I bet they've got it. Because it's a Texas thing. Beeline Strippers. The sex bookies is Texas. Yeah, yeah. So so there you go. So first time trying trying China. Very nice. Loved it. Yeah, I was so old and I was like, man, I really wish the balls were playing here. Yeah. <laughs> because once a year, well, you know, they switch up. When, next year they'll be here in Nashville playing. Bowling. <laughs> they must be good at bowling. Skateboarding. <laughs> Let's go balls. <laughs> but uh, 
every year Tennessee plays one game in the stadium. Oh, okay. And it's... Is that the game you play? Yeah. They play in, in, in Nissan, and it's literally orange it. everywhere. Is it? There's the Daisy. Thank you. I'm going to be there. I'll just have a little bit there. You don't like it? No question. Yeah. Nice. Hey, we're in uh, Luke Bryan. I've never heard of him, by the way, and I think that's a big no-no for uh, being around this area in Nashville. You know who he is, right? Yeah. But uh, me going in here going, I don't know who this guy is, or whoever's singing up on the stage, I don't know. But we're here, uh, Luke Bryan. It says motel. I don't think it's a motel, is it? That must just be a sign, right? Listening to country, country music. Absolutely having a blast down in Nashville. I love it, mate. You're on, you got from Margarita to Margarita. And when I ordered it, I made a joke and went, oh, I've won Margarita. Thinking I was making a joke and anyway, that's Luke Ryan who sings that. And I'm like, dead joke then, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm on me, a uh, little bit of Nelson Mandela. And uh, we're having a great time, aren't we? Yeah. Great time. The hospitality has been superb down in, uh, no, in the whole of the USA. In Kentucky, Vicara, Rocco, all the way down to uh, Philip and Hannah down in Alabama. David here in Nashville. Had some great time, haven't we? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers.